This will be a review of the Motorola Buds Bluetooth headphones. I'm going to deviate from my typical bike related videos and do another tech video on headphones because for me these are bike related. Bluetooth headphones are an integral part of my mountain bike training. I use these a lot when I'm on the trails but again like I did with the LG Tone Plus review that I did I'm going to tailor this really for anybody who may be interested in these. These are fairly new from Motorola. Uh, they retail for around the $75, $80 price range. However, just recently, uh, for whatever reason, Motorola has reduced the price on their website to $55. And I think that is a really, really good price for these headphones. Now, the reason I got these is because I used to use the LG Tone Plus. I use a Motorola Moto X phone. And for whatever reason, when the new update, the 4.4, KitKat update came out for the phone, uh, the volume control on these was too loud. I could only turn it down to a certain level and it wouldn't go lower. So I was hoping that the Motorola headphones would work with the phone and, it, and they do. Uh, and so I'll go over some features. Before I talk about the uh, sound quality of these, uh, I'll go over kind of how they work and some features on them. Uh, so if you're interested in a good sounding Bluetooth headphone stick around uh, because these are good I'll just say that right now but I'll really go into the sound quality in a few minutes so if you're familiar with the LG Tone Plus these go around your neck and by the way I'll do a more kind of side-by-side -side comparison with the LG's because these are really similar in the way they perform uh, they they have the magnets on the end and so when you're not using the headphones uh, you can just put them on your neck and um, put the earbuds on the magnets. And then when you're ready to use the earphones, whether it's to listen to music or just answer a phone call, uh, you just pull them out and pop them in your ears. Okay, so again, to go over some features of these, you've got your charging port right here on the back side, and uh, it's a micro USB charger, and it's just got a little rubber cover there. Uh, this is your on-off switch. And the way that you turn these on, is you hold the button down for about three seconds and you'll get a blue light that flashes. There we go. And then in the, if you have these in your ear, you'll get a voice that says, welcome to the Motorola Buds. And then it connects, after you've paired it with your device, it'll connect within about one second after turning these on. I'm gonna keep them this way because this is what, the way they would be on your neck. So on the left side, you've got a play pause you get a little closer view of that. So if you hit it once, it, uh, it'll play the music. Hit it again, it'll pause. Um, if the music is not playing, then if you hold this down, you'll get into, if it's an Android phone, Google Now, or if it's an iPhone, it'll go into Siri. Again, the music has to be not playing, and you hold this button down for a couple seconds. Now, if the music is playing, these have... I think there are three built-in EQ settings. You hold this button down while the music is playing, and then you'll hear the music kind of change um, equalizer frequencies, and then it'll say EQ changed. And it goes from a flat to maybe a, uh, a little bit higher bass to a more balanced, which is the one that I use. Now, it's kind of strange because you don't really know what EQ setting you're on until you kind of listen to the music. So it kind of would have been nice if it said EQ level one or level two or something like that. Um, but it is kind of nice that there's a built-in EQ into the, uh, the earphones. This other button is the skip. So if you press it once, it'll skip to the next song. If you double click, it'll go back. Now I use Pandora and Slacker and as most of you know you can't go back a song so you would only use this but if you're in like Google Play Music or uh, another phone music app if you double click um, it or yeah, if you double click it'll go back. On the other side you just got the volume control so um, volume up uh, volume down uh, and that works really well. Let me kind of demo it here on my phone. So let me demo this on the phone. I've got some music playing and when I turn the power on, they connected. So if I push the play pause button here, it'll pause the music, push it again, it'll play it again, and skip to the next track. Uh, just push this one time, 
and we skip to the next track. Volume up or down, this is volume down. So if I push this, you can see the volume going down the phone. And then push it again, it goes up. Pretty straightforward operation. Again, this one would be, if you double click, it would go back a track. Actually, it went back to the beginning of that. And I think if you go back to the beginning and you do it again, it'll go to the previous track. Let's try that. Yep, there we go. So uh, the quality of construction of these is really good. Uh, it's a pretty hard plastic. Uh, they do flex to get them around your neck. Uh, they're not as flexible in the back, obviously, as the LG Tone Plus. This is a more rigid plastic. Uh, I have a pretty average size neck. If you had a large neck, you might have your neck touch each side. They move around a little bit on me. Uh, but they stay in place really well. Uh, again, just to do a quick comparison to the LGs, uh, they stay on a lot better if you're like laying on your back, like if you're in the gym, doing bench presses or something, they will stay on. The LGs would actually slip off. Um, these stay on. But the buttons feel really solid, and it's overall, I think, just a really good construction. The earbuds have a really soft silicone, and this will be a good segue to go into the sound quality. Uh, it's, it was really interesting. When I picked these up at the store, I was kind of impatient to see how they would sound, so I took them out of the box, and it was dark, uh, driving home after work and when I put them in my ears the sound was not good uh, and in fact I almost turned around and took them back however when I got home I realized that they had only included the the smallest size you get about three or four different pair of ear tips uh, they put the smaller smallest size on and I wasn't getting a good seal I ended up putting the larger uh, ones on and uh, when I did that, the sound quality was drastically better. And uh, with these, you really have to get a good seal, but it's not hard. There's a lot of earphones that go more into the ear, and I'll use these LGs, for example. This shape kind of goes more into the ear, whereas the Motorola's kind of go more on the outside of the ear. And so you don't have to kind of like pull up on your ear and stick them in your ear. Um, they, they rest a little bit more on the outside, but you get a really, really good uh, seal on these. And what impressed me the most about these was the base. When I, when I had the smaller size uh, ear tips in, the base was not good at all. Um, but when you get a good seal, the base goes from being not very good to being probably the strongest base that I've ever listened to on a pair of earbuds. Uh, it's, it's almost to the point where I mean, it's, it's good, but I wouldn't want any more bass. It's a really clean sounding bass. It's, um, you know, it's kind of a, a, a punchy bass. It's not muffled or muddy. However, you also retain really good mids and highs on these. Uh, these are not only some of the best sounding Bluetooth headphones that I've used, but some of the best earbuds that I've ever used, which really amazed me. I actually tried a pair of the Jaybird Sport Blue Bud X this week, and while those were really, really clear, probably a tad more clear than the Motorola's, I couldn't get a good seal and fit to get good bass. Um, with these, uh, again, they're not, you've got to kind of fiddle around sometimes. Sometimes I'll put them in my ears and I'll get a great fit right away. Sometimes I just have to take a second or two while I'm listening to the music and move them around and get a good seal. But the good thing is, once you get that good seal, it stays. I've had other earphones in the past where you kind of, you know, get it into your ear, some of the phone ones you would squeeze and get it into your ear. Uh, and then, you know, a couple minutes later, it would kind of slip out. These, once they get into your ears and you get a good uh, seal, I, I, I biked on trails with these and they stay put really well. If for some reason, you don't like the way these fit, you can always get some uh, aftermarket ones. Like there's a company called Comply Foam, which makes um, di different kinds of foam tips, and they, uh, you can match them up with uh, whatever headset you use. Uh, and so that would be an option for you. But I, I really like the way the stock ones feel. So let me just give you some reference points for sound quality. These are the Klipsch 
S4s, which arguably are probably some of the best sounding earbuds in this price range, about the $100 price range. I probably took an hour going back and forth with various tracks, different kinds of music, switching between the Klipsch and the Motorola's. And it was really hard for me to pick an, a winner. I would say that the Klipsch probably have just a hair better tone and uh, presence, but it's not much. I mean, you really have to listen. That's how good these Motorola's sound. But again, I have to emphasize, you've got to make sure you get a good fit. Uh, and like I said before, it's not hard to do. Uh, you know, sometimes it'll do, it'll get a good fit right away. Sometimes again, you have to kind of move it around and it helps to have the music playing when you do that. Um, compared to the LG Tone Plus, uh, the Motorola sound better, just hands down. These do sound good. I, I will not discredit how these sound for a Bluetooth headset. The Motorola's just have more crisp mids and highs and definitely a deeper bass than the LG Tone Plus. So that's my review of the Motorola Buds earphones. Uh, let me say one thing that I didn't mention and the range on these is really good. It's, uh, Motorola says it's 100 feet, which it, I verified that if you have a direct line to the phone, it is about 100 feet. Uh, if you're familiar with the LG Tone Plus, they get about 30. However, if you're in a house and you walk into another room and you go around a wall, these probably only have about 20 to 30 foot range. So you ha do have to have a direct line uh, to the phone. So overall, I think these are an incredible value, not just in Bluetooth, but in earbuds in general, to have the, the Bluetooth ability is really, really nice. Uh, so for between $55 and $75, uh, these are an amazing deal in Bluetooth headphones. So hope you enjoy the review. Thanks for watching.